All right. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Monday Alon Game. This guy tells us he's Kapura. Are you the Bakuda, he asks. I'm practicing. What are you doing? I'm practicing. Bakama says even though I'm slow, I may be faster than all the others. I travel very far. He says I must practice. Jala says I'm being silly. I practice often. Uh, what's the Makuta? If you do not know what the Makuta is, I guess you are not it. That's good. Jala says I have to be careful of the Makuta when I'm in the forest. He says the Makuta is everywhere. He means Rahi, monstrous things you can see. But I know the Makuta is here now in these burnt trees and the dead soil. All of these things were destroyed by the Makuta, but the Makuta never left them. That is how he becomes strong. That's what he does. He destroys things. I think the forest looks very beautiful this way, too. And when it is burned, you can see all the fires perform their great Takara all the way to the sea, and it was beautiful. Where am I? You're where you are. If I practice, I can be where I am not. I think I can feel it. It's hot here where I am, but where I am not is cold, and I think I can feel it. I must practice more. And as many places to visit, I want to see all of them, but others do not like to travel. Matanui is very big. In the beginning of time, Matanui fell from the sky and landed here. And the Makuta came after him and made him fall asleep and sent his monsters across the world to control it and destroy its beautiful things to make the Matoran his slaves. Vakama told us to wait for more creatures to fall from the sky who will save us. I think one of them landed on the beach. I saw a fall where I was practicing before. Vakama knows more. You should ask him. He lives in Takoro. Oh, goodbye. Uh, bye. Something tells me I can't get much further this way. Oh! Hey, I'm back. So let me see if I can't sneak my way down these tunnels. I want to guess this leads to Pokoro. There's a strike going on. That's cute. Alright, I just backtrack my way out here. I'm gonna head back to the beach. I do have a walkthrough open, although I haven't needed to use it as much. Um, for whatever reason, the walkthrough, uh, hosted on uh, Biosector 01, I believe. Uh, take me to Powahi, will you? Yeah, Biosector 01. For whatever reason, it is uh, written in first person, which is just a little weird. I think we've talked to you, haven't we? What's that? Okay, cool. Pretty sure we talked to you. I think that's Pokoro. Okay, cool. We were here. So that means that we can go here now, right? What's your name, Slick? Another Hafu original. Hot enough for you? Goodness. These are the mines that lead to Onokoru. So that means we will turn around and I believe take the left path here. So we're heading to Pokoro. Um, Matoran uh, have these faces. They're a little different, if you remember. But if you don't, I can just show you. These are the masks. And they look like this underneath it. You can see that these are a little different. Um, and Turaga actually have the same faces as Toa do. This is Turaga Mato. This is his face. And you can see that it's the same button green. I'm not entirely sure why, but let's bump my mic. Pardon me. Uh, but anyway, these faces are the faces that Matoran have underneath their masks. Yeah. Oh my god. I just... I was just physically struck with nostalgia. Uh, stranger, you're looking for a good Coley ball? Let me recommend the Comet. That, like, musical sting is so iconic to me for... Well, I know why the raisin is. It's because I love this game, but... 
A curly ball is the best in Matanui. Everyone wants one. Don't be the only Matoran in Pokora without a comet. What's one of those? They're for playing Coley, of course. You want a comet, our most popular model. Trade for uh, two Hoosie Pecking Birds, the equivalent. There is a limited economy. Dude, that sound. That's... That's so cool. I don't know why, but that's so rad. Ah, oh, man. So good. Um, yeah, Koli is a sport, and there is a limited economy in Matanui. They pay with things called widgets. Uh, where do you get your Koli balls? That's privileged information, my friend. Let's say I have a secret source. I'm super trustworthy. You can tell by my beady little eyes and my black mask. We trade here, like in the rest of the bazaar. Got something worth trading? I'll give you a ball for it. Uh, well, bye. Come back any time. <laughs> Want a Maha? Going cheap. This is Onua. I had a set of Onua, but... Well, I won't say that. It's maybe a spot. Hey, adventurer, you come at an unhappy time in Pokoro. I fear I'm I have to announce to my people the news the next Koli match will have to be cancelled. I don't know think even Great Poatu could play Koli at a time like this. I'm distracted by many of the problems. I can give you little of my time. Can you give me some cure of this illness? Who are you? I'm Onua. So, Onua, O-N-E-W-A, and Onua, O-N-U-A, are different characters. And, like, they both showed up in the same year. That was something that always kind of peeved me as a kid. Like, how could they possibly have given them different names without realizing? How could they have possibly done that? And, like, granted, it's it's the Earth Toa and the Stone Toraga, but come on, guys. Uh, I'm the village of Pokoro. The Matoran hero Master Carvers, their work is the envy of all of Matanui. But today I'm not carving works of art, instead I'm fashioning beds. Out of rock, of course. I'm starting to be in comfort to the sick people of the village, but it's a fleeting solace. We know nothing of this illness, how long it might last, or where it comes from. Left unattended, I fear the madness. Uh, why are you canceling? A dark plague has crept to my people in my village. Though they still stay at their work, and visit the bazaar, and play Koli, they have blinded themselves to the truth, and put strength and duty before fear. Huki, our greatest Koli champion, was the first to fall ill. He's become weak and he cannot move from his bed. I fear we may soon see him in the beginning of the madness. The same diabolical force that grips the wild Rahi when their masks become infected. Who's Pohatu? Well, he's right here in my hand, of course. He is the Toa of the Pokoro Matoran. Again, I don't know if Po Toa is acceptable, but... His strength can fill mountains, and the Kanoe Kakama give him great speed. That just means mask of speed, by the way. Speed greater than any creature on Mata Nui. The irony is the speed and strength cannot help us. An enemy that can neither be seen nor felt plagues us. A plague, in fact, plagues us. So we have to ban gatherings of more than, you know, that many Matoran, so we can't have sporting events, yada yada. The whole, it's a whole thing, you know? I, I feel it, my man. The Kama of Tokoro has sent the guard to assist him, but they will not enter the village for fear of falling prey to the disease. They are carving the hills in search of Pohatu, who's on a grave quest for the masks of power. Without ever knowing where the illness comes from, there's little anyone can do, even the great Pohatu. So yeah, this is one of the kind of cool things. Um, the, the game that was cancelled that I mentioned a few episodes ago, there was a huge Bionicle game that was cancelled, completely just canned. Um, and it was supposed to be the main plot of year one of Bionicle, as well as a movie, I think. Um, and so the comics leading up to it and the books leading up to it, the comics have a lot less, but the books have a little more, um, are all just like set dressing about like the, the training arc that leads up to this big, huge fight with Makuta, but we never actually get to see that fight with Makuta. Um, like we, we never actually get to see that because Everyone was like, no, you got to save it for the game or the movie. Like, that's the way people are going to see it. So everything else has to be, like, totally, totally different, you know? Um, which means that the books kind of end abruptly and then cut to year two and there's just a new thing. And, like, book, I think, three ends and it's like, we're going to go fight Makuta. And then book four starts and it's like, Wow. Our fight with Makuta was crazy. Um, 
luckily in this game you actually can see the fight with Makuta and to an extent uh, and it was really cool but th but that's another reason why you play as not the Toa in this game because you were supposed to play as the Toa in the other game um yet uh, I wish the speed of Ohatsu adventure again kind of deify him here but they don't really need to Here for a Coley match? I sure could use more, more teammates. All the others have gone home. They're not feeling well. Not even Hookie can play. I just got a new Comet. Traded two Hoosie for it. Hop up. Must not be from around here. Yeah, I play Akalini, bro. Uh, Coley is the greatest sport on Matanui. It's simple, but it takes more skill than the sports they play in the other villages. It's played in a Coley field. You're standing in the biggest one in Powahi, but they don't have to be as fancy as this. You need four goals in the side of a square. There are four players. Each goal is a Matora to guard it. To win, you have to kick balls like this one to the other goals. At the same time, stop the other players from getting their balls into your goal. That's all. Um, so this Pohatu actually came with one of these balls. One of these, like, Koli balls. I think it was just a boulder, but... And as you can see, because his torso is upside down, that means that his action lets him kick. Or, you know, tread water. A better shot of it there. What's a Comet? Comet's the best kind of Coley ball you can get. Everyone's getting one of these now. They're perfectly balanced, so it's hard to miss when you kick them. They fly as fast as a Comet. Started training them recently. I don't know where they get them, but whoever caught them is a master. Who's Hookie? Why, only the greatest Coley player ever. At least he was. He fell ill a little bit ago. Haven't seen him much since. He lives on the other side of the Coley field. You don't have your mask on, or your face mask, but you have your, like, mask mask on. Any chance that I can get past you into here? No? Okay. Ugh, oh, it's so grim. Stay away from me. I want to be left alone. Who are you? I'm a hooky. Why are you sick? I don't know. I've been here for... I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. I used to know. I feel strange. You look strange. No one wants to come here, especially Maku. Do not tell her I'm ill. It will worry her. She must not see me like this. Uh, well, bye. Get out. Jeez, they even painted the, the thing on his door. It's gruesome. I love Coley, but everyone's homesick. One guy in the stands. Ah, oh, it's so, so scary. Sorry, I'm still a little sick, so I had to pause and uh, blow my nose. As you can see, I'm also in my PJs, my pajamas. All right. Now that we've reset the area. Cool. I just realized that for that whole time, my audio was at the loud setting. I hope that didn't bother anyone. Um, it almost definitely did. Dang. Oh, well. Hey, Onua. Uh, this uh, Coley ball is weird. This is a Coley ball. But not any. It's a special kind of being traded. It's become very popular. Your noble is your reputation and resourceful. This opens my eyes to many things. The balls are the cause of the illness. We must take them away from the village and throw them in the sea. But the popular and the Po-Koro Matoran value Coley among many things. Can I take these away from my people unless I have proof that they are the cause? It's a vital clue. I know a merchant that sells these balls. You must find out where the balls come from. If he's involved in the plot, he will not want you to find out. The evil that visited Gakuro across the waves has come, it seems, to our ocean of sand. I fear the shadow of the Makuta has been cast across Pakoro. I know the source of this evil must be found or all may be lost. If the guard can find the Toa, I will suggest to Pohatu that he seek you out. Together, I hope you can do what's necessary. Would that the sick did not need me, or would I... Or I would that the sick did not need me, or I would come and assist you on your quest. Uh, well, bye. Hey, you scumbag. Where do you get these? It's privileged information. Do you have anything I can give him? No. 
Hey. I got a question mark, question mark, question mark. Neato. The one lone sports fan just waving his flag out in the stands is so... It's kind of scary, honestly. Oh, that leads to Onuwahi. So that Onukuru Highway they're digging actually gets built um, and does get used in the uh, first real Bionicle movie. So let me see here. Let's try this one. Dang. Well, I'm out of ideas. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess I'll just wander around, right? It's normally what one would do. Okay, I'm back here. So this can be my starting point. So left takes me to the Valley of the, like, Masks. Okay, I just peeked at the, uh, the guide Uh, the guide. I am, I am in the right place. It just, I tried it on the first one. It didn't work, so I quit. Okay. The water breathing? That would make the least sense because I'm in a desert. This one kind of makes sense. Oh, of course. I wonder if this says something. Oh, it's the infected balls. A big infected mask. And a new Ichaga. Yeah! Yeah! Adventure, the scorpions blinded me for the moment. It'll be some time until my sight returns. Tell me where to kick the ball, and together we can destroy the nest. Yeah. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh man, that faux like Arabic music. It does sound good, I will say. He's got like a cooldown on his ball kicking. Am I doing this right? Frankly, I actually have no idea if I'm doing this right. I'm going to turn that down. Hey, as it happens, I was doing it wrong. Check it out. You can hold it down. And get a bigger kickoff. So, Poatu was the first, like, real, like, canister set I ever had. Kongu was the first, uh, like, like, Matoran I ever got. Uh, and by extension, the first Bionicle, but Poatsu was the first, like, real canister set. So I was always happy to see him, and, like, I was very overjoyed that I had a, a cool little set to have. Poatsu is always consistently one of the coolest characters, lest we forget. He's a very friendly character. For some reason, all the characters in the first, like, year of Bionicle are mean. Like, I mean... Kopaka and Tahu are really mean. They're just like annoyingly mean, in fact. Like, they're supposed to be working together. They're just very bad at it.
Um, but Pohatsu hangs out with Kopaka the most. And, like, it's just so, like, warm and kind, even though Kopaka continues to be, like, a jerk about everything. Anything else? Is it these? Or is it this one? How dare you, sir? There we go. So cool. Uh, he didn't. Sh they didn't show him carrying me in that cutscene, but I can only imagine that he did because otherwise I would definitely be dead. Uh, Matoran cannot use mask powers, and he very clearly uses his to get out of there. Excellent, my friend. We make a good team. My sights return to me. I was an evil plan indeed. I knew it was right to call on me. I was an infected mass beside the Cooley balls, but who left it there and placed the balls beside it? Bokoro may be safe now. We may have uncovered an even greater mystery. I fear the Makuta's influence may extend beyond the Rahi now. I will take the news back to Bokoro and help them carry the infected balls into the sea. My mask of power will let me get to the village quickly enough, I think, to even save Huki. Your cunning ally, friend, and brave. I hope we meet again someday. But yeah, Poet has also got like a very non standard character design because, like, he literally has the same torso as the other guys, just upside down. Um, which is, you know, it makes him look unusual, but, like, it's fine, you know? Like, nobody's mean to him about it. He has a different body type, you know? Whatever, it works for him. He's built for it. He's sculpted for a different kind of power, you know? He's a kicker. So he looks different than, like, the, the kind of, like, <laughs> the kind of superhero build that uh, the rest of them all have. Hail, po Hail hero, Pohatsu's been here and gone. The balls have been taken to the sea and will bother us no more. The Matoran of my village are recovering from their illness. I'm not certain what became of the merchant who sold them, however. He disappeared before Pohatsu returned. So that's Akmu. Uh, spelled A-H-K-M-O-U, I think, in the later years. Uh, and Akmu is initially, like, just kind of a weird, mean Matoran. And he becomes, like, one of the first villains that isn't, like, an elder god, like Makuta. But yeah, uh, we, like the god Koromatoran, will honor your deeds forever. Nukama was right when she said you would be witness to many important things transpiring throughout the land. She asked me to watch you and tell her if I also feel this. I know you're the one her astrologer spoke of. Take this carving tool, which is the proud symbol of our greatest carvers. Show it to Nukama, and she'll give you the Book of Chronicles. Goodbye. Thank you. Speed of Bohatsu, bro. So yeah, um... That'll do it for another episode, I'm thinking. Because uh, uh, this one went a, bit, a little bit long. Uh, ten minutes longer than I like. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys. I'll see you next time. It's been a Matanui Online game. I think the next episode will be in... The new year, yeah. Dang. Yeah, next episode will be in 2022. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>